love this country very much. It's beautiful. In fact, this is the cleanest country in the world. It is beautiful. We can learn from President Kagame. I'm actually very happy because I think he's, uh, he's the head of the uh, uh, AU now. So let's see if the AU can, can do something. Because sometimes I think sometimes they are a dog without teeth. You know, we need to, you know, we need to, we need a, a dog that's going to bite. You know, we, we need to be free. We need to go to Uganda free, to Tanzania free, freely, you know, South Africa freely. We need to trade amongst ourselves. We need to know, I don't need to see a Ugandan and say, oh, that one's taking my job. I don't need to see a, a Kenyan and think that we're all brothers. Africa is for all those who live in it. And this is a beautiful continent that has got everything that we need. It's just poorly managed. So all those leaders who are not treating us well, they just need to go. They must go. We need the beautiful continent. We need our young people to have good uh, work. We've got graduates who are not... Um, who, are, who do not have uh, 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 jobs. No, that is not right. We need governments to level the playing field so that our children can, can, be, can work and can, can have good schooling, good education, good healthcare systems. We can't be waiting for the West to give us here and we have our leaders going to the West with a begging bowl. No, no, no. Those people will never respect us. So our leaders, if we put you in power, do things for us. We put you in power, by the way, you work for us. Eh? They work for us. The people shall govern. When we put a leader, the, the leaders must listen to us. They can't sit there and put money in their pockets and have big houses and have bodyguards. No, 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 no. It should not be like that.